Members of King of Kings Lutheran Church here in Milwaukee are on the phone and answering emails today from a community concerned about an overnight shelter. The reverend here tells me she's trying to open up a dialogue. They need to know people are not coming right in off the street. It's part of a process. Reverend Sharon Hughes says she's working overtime to help neighbors in the area understand plans for a safe overnight shelter in the King of Kings parking lot. There's anxiety about how fast this is going to happen, how big it's going to be, uh, how unregulated it's going to be, and none of those are in our plan at all. Anxiety that boiled over Sunday when nearly 50 neighbors protested the shelter. Here's how it will work. The church will provide up to three parking spaces for safe overnight parking from 6 p.m. until 8 in the morning. Those who wish to use the program will be screened and must adhere to rules set forth by the church. That includes quiet times, no drugs or alcohol, and no firearms. It is not a camp. It is a transitional program. This is a problem Clackamas County can't ignore. In 2017, the number of people experiencing homelessness jumped to nearly 2,300. We could all be one step away from being houseless. And I think having compassion and remembering that is important. Becky Wilkinson is the Outreach Program Supervisor at Providence, which will help provide support services to the program. Maybe it's housing, maybe they need connection with primary care clinic. And it's really kind of offering that innovative solution of literally meeting them where they're at. Reverend Hughes says organizers are working to put a hold on the permit for the program right now so community comments can be included. It's important to me that we minister to our neighbors, whether it's the homeless or whether it's the people who live around us, that we work together and not against one another. In Milwaukee, Brittany Folkers, KGW News. As of news time today, no date or time for community meeting had been set. If you would like to learn a little bit more about the program and the rules that participants are expected to follow, you can check out this story on our website, kgw.com.